But uh, before that, we were rocking the uh, fast lane from Bad Meets Evil, and we have got half of Bad Meets Evil on the phone right now. It's Royce to 59 Royce, good morning, man. Yo, 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 yo. How you doing, man? Good morning. Fantastic. It is good to talk to you. I was listening to uh, some interviews with uh, you and M about the uh, the new EP over the weekend, and it sounds like it's going to be a big one. Are you pretty excited about the release? I'm very excited. I'm really just curious just to see what the response is going to be, actually. That's, that's really what I'm concerned about, because we, re- we really went in there and just rapped as good as we possibly can for where we are right now, so yeah. I'm excited about that. It's got to be cool. I mean, you've, you've done your thing. I mean, you're a hip-hop artist. You've got solo projects. You've worked with other people in the past, and I'm sure for you, it's kind of just normal, like, uh, yay, another collaboration, you know, some good work. I like the project, but it's kind of crazy to anybody else in the world to think that you're just standing in a studio with Eminem, like that that's your partner on this album, and you're collaborating with Eminem. Is that still, is it a little surreal, or are you totally, like, so cool with it, you forget that you're working with Eminem? Oh, trust me, it's still surreal. I don't take it for granted. I'm I'm a fan. I, I go in there sometimes, I just look at him like, wow, man. <laughs> the artist of the decade. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, you my dude, but it still feels so surreal. You know, it's, all, it's an honor every time we work with each other, so I definitely never forget that. That's awesome. The EP uh, held a sequel uh, featuring Fastlane, which we played before, comes out tomorrow, so people need to make sure to pick that up. Uh, what's Explain Bad Meets Evil? I mean, for people that know Royce to 5'9", and people that know Eminem, is it just you two doing your own thing together? Is it kind of a little different vibe? Like, how do you describe the group? Yeah, it's a little bit different from when we do our solo thing. Like, we, we got together about... 13, 14 years ago and did a song called Bad Me Evil. When Bad Me Evil, I'm sorry. So whenever we get together, we, we, we perform under the moniker Bad Me Evil. I'm the bad half, he's the evil half, and we play these two characters where we're basically, we're basically pushing each other to see who can say the craziest stuff. And, you know, we do a lot of going back and forth, playing off each other's words. It's like, like, like doing a crossword puzzle. Yeah. So it's like we, we come together and we do these mind-bending syllables and you know, we do a lot of playing with words, and it's, it's real interesting, like, from an MC's perspective. What What is, I mean, do you guys go out and hang out together outside of this? I mean, obviously you're recording and stuff, and you're in a studio. It's kind of a controlled environment. Like, do you ever go out on the streets or go to dinner or something with him? Sometimes. I mean, it, it just depends on what he wants to do. Sometimes he gets daring and, and decides he might want to go to a CD store or something, so we make <laughs> we take the necessary precautions and we go do that, but it's not very much that he can do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, it's got to be weird. Like, I'm sure when you're sitting around, you know, eating Cheetos in the recording studio, you know, hanging out, everything's fine. But then I thought, what if you wanted to run out of the Applebee's and grab some chicken strips or something? I mean, it's got to be hard. Yeah, that, that, that we might be able to do. You know, a spur of the moment, impromptu trip to Applebee's is cool. As long as we're not going anywhere near like a mall or anything like that, yeah. I think we're pretty good. If we go to the mall... Forget about it. Yeah, it's over at that point. Well, also, uh, so the, the album uh, Hell the Sequel from Bad Meets Evil comes out tomorrow, the EP, but you've also got some uh, some solo stuff in the works, so tell us a little bit about the uh, the solo album. Yeah, I got an album coming out called Success is Certain. It comes out July 26th. That's under Gracie Productions. It's actually my last um, independent album as a solo artist, so I'm really excited about that. I'm looking forward to going out with a bang. And it, yeah, it's... it's, it's, it's it's, it's all me from front to back. Um, I got Eminem and uh, Kid Vicious on there. Those are the only two features. And Kid Vicious is my little brother, another artist that's coming up under me from Detroit. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just excited about that, man. So July 26th. Check that one out, too. That What, what do you think about the uh, the current game right now, the, the hip-hop game? I mean, you've been around for a while, like we said. You've worked with a lot of people. I mean, you've worked with some big names. You know, you're building small talent. You, you've kind of touched all of it. How do you think hip-hop is you know the state of hip-hop right now are you happy with it is it too much pop and too much radio crap i mean what what do you feel about it all a couple years ago i was just happy with it today i'm actually excited about it i mean you got you got all of the greats in the game right now like making making a conscious effort to bring lyricism back you know if you you just look jay-z lil wayne rick ross you got all these dudes just assembling teams of people that that actually rap so I think it's about to be cool to be lyrical again. Yeah, that's totally... That's, it, it, that's which, all I can really ask for. Exactly. And that's what's cool when you listen to, like, Bad Meets Evil. I mean, you that's what it is. It's I mean, it's storytelling. It's its lyricism. I mean, it's not just about a great hook, which is... That's what's so weird to me, that hip-hop has evolved away from the lyricism, because in, like, Fastlane, you guys have a good hook. It's catchy, but then also, I mean, the, the lyrics are so awesome there. It's like, why can't other everybody in the hip-hop game do both? 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's not for everybody. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that the game be oversaturated with that either. Yeah, like it, it need, it needs a balance. It, it went through a phase where it was only one thing. Like the, the the younger generation were only being fed a certain type of rap. I call it microwave rap. You know, so <laughs> now, now, and it's cool that that, that exists too because it gives that balance. As yeah. long as it's a balance in hip hop. I think it'll always be around. If it, if it continues to stay one way, then there's a potential that it could fade away and not exist. That's a good point. Some good insight there. Hell, the sequel uh, featuring Fastlane, which we just played a few minutes ago, is uh, the new EP from Bad Meets Evil that comes out tomorrow. And then in two weeks, Royce's solo album. Royce to 5'9", it's been great talking to you, man. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time, and uh, good luck with everything, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the support. You're very welcome. Have a great morning, man. Yeah. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings number one hit music station. Hot 1019.